And tonight here on the rant, Castleman is gone. And it happened as many people were waking up this morning. The mayor removed a symbol that has been debated in this town. And from here, we move forward. But first, you're also talking about the protests we've had in Louisville since the end of May. Some turned violent, but most have overall been peaceful. I would just like to know when this is all going to be over with. Louisville is much better than this. I don't know what these people want. You cannot go in and just change things overnight. You can't change a 200-year problem overnight. They've done so much damage to our city, and who's going to pay for it? How can we promote our city if we cannot get control of the violence that is taking place? I feel like we need to support our police officers and try to take some control, and people's opinions should be voiced. We are what we create as a whole of the nation. If we give people solutions, then we won't have any excuses. God bless America. Now, people are talking about the Castleman development this morning. Candace in Louisville, Castleman will always be remembered as the father of our park system. But we have to understand how the representation of a Confederate officer by statute represents the hate and division that still divides our great nation today. We can honor the man's good deeds in other ways. Mark and Lyndon, he isn't in Confederate uniform. Actually, after the war, he served the Army and retired as a general. His Confederate service was a very small part of his history. Lonnie in Fern Creek, while Castleman was alive, all the Louisville parks allowed people of col all color. It was only later after his death that they became segregated. Mimi and Goshen, banishing artwork doesn't change history. Educational signs on statues might. Statues too politically incorrect. Buildings too old because they're over 50. Knock them all down. Mary in Louisville and the virus. It looks like the number of COVID-19 cases in Kentucky is on the rise. I thought we were supposed to be wearing masks and social distancing in order to care for our fellow Kentuckians. Many protesters without masks gathered in crowd. Well, that's why protesters were urged to get tested at a special Norton site over the weekend. As we just heard from the governor at 4 o'clock, last two days, the numbers have been lower, thankfully. As for Castleman. Two years ago, right here in a commentary on WHS 11, I said this. I'm with you who say history does remind us of our past sins, but if I want to find the Confederacy in Louisville, I'll find it in a graveyard where history put it. Castleman, we believe, will end up in Cave Hill Cemetery, although the cemetery says no agreement final yet. With the move today, we finally took one more move toward the peace and understanding that is now our biggest job next. It has to be dismantling of not just a statue, but racism. Here's how you can rant tonight. Post a message on my Facebook page. You can use Twitter at WHAS 11 Doug. Keep your emails coming to the rant at WHAS 11.com and the toll free rant line is open at 855 749 1101.